Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Augustine of Canterbury, a Roman by birth and prior of the Benedictine monastery of Saint Andrew on the Coelian Hill in Rome. Saint Augustine and 40 other monks were deputed by Gregory the Great in 596 to evangelize England. Disturbed by rumors of the brutality of the locals, the band attempted to return midway. However, admonished by the pope himself a benedictine they persisted landing in the spring of 597 with interpreters from france they were received hospitably by king ethelbert of kent and invited to live at canterbury entering in solemn procession bearing an image of our lord and a cross and chanting an ancient litany they immediately established their benedictine routine together with the preaching mission the king who had married the frankish princess bertha a catholic was deeply impressed by augustine's spiritual message and personal sanctity and asked for baptism at pentecost more than 10000 of his subjects were baptized on the day following christmas the following autumn saint augustine received episcopal consecration at the hands of saint virgilius Archbishop of Arles and was made Archbishop of Canterbury with the jurisdiction over all the southern British dioceses which were being established he was unsuccessful however in enlisting the support of the Celtic bishops of Wales in the evangelization of the Anglo-Saxon conquerors and getting them to conform to the Roman practice in the matter of the Easter date nevertheless a man of faith who knew the value of patience augustine did his best he laid well the foundations on which others could continue to build about 7 years after his arrival in england saint augustine passed to his reward on the 26th of may 605 leaving behind a rich legacy of no less than 12 new dioceses